Hello, welcome to my channel, Shine Your Light. My name is Amber and we have a new deck to open up and take a look at. This is the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine with illustrations by Dan Craig. This is a 78 card deck with a guidebook and I purchased this from Hay House. The back of the box says, Lavishly illustrated and rich with symbolism, this tarot deck draws upon the wisdom and power of the archangels to help you speak with the divine. You'll find uplifting interpretations of traditional tarot messages and imagery, including diverse contemporary depictions of classic characters. Internationally acclaimed angel tarotist Radley Valentine includes unique features on each card to make them easy to use while also drawing upon the long history of tarot to add depth to each reading. This deck offers a positive yet powerful way to find the guidance and answers from heaven you seek. All right, we'll get this open. If you hear noise in the background, that would most likely be my dog, Atlas. He is laying on the couch, watching me, kind of pouting because I am not throwing the ball right now. All right, this is a box with a cover. And here is, oh my goodness, the guidebook. And that's a good size guidebook, but being a tarot deck, this is a bigger deck. And it looks like there is writing on some of these cards too. I'm not sure if I will go through and read each of them or just kind of do a flip through and maybe read the title because as you see, there are a lot of cards to go through. So all right, and the back of the book looks like it has the same description as the back of the box and also has a little bit about the artist here. An internationally known spiritual teacher and author, Radley Valentine, has spoken at nearly 100 events in 10 countries, inspiring audiences worldwide with his angelic messages of pure love and unconditional support. He's written several card decks, including the best-selling Angel Tarot cards and the books How to Be Your Own Genie and Compendium of Magical Things. I have not read either of those, but it sounds interesting. And there is a table of contents, which is always nice. An introduction. How to work with your tarot deck. And some spreads. Looks like description of each card as well. All right. Okay, well, this is the back of each card. And each one of these looks like is one of the cards included in this deck. So that's quite unique and interesting. This is a big deck. I have pretty big hands and this fills it. And with that many cards, that's, that's a handful. So, I may just adjust the camera a little bit here so we can get a little bit closer look at this. Okay, I think this is a little better. 
and it looks like it starts out with the fool zero which they call the dreamer in this deck it says a new start trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith the magician magic is alive in your life what you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it you can do it the high priestess Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. The Empress. Time to take action. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. Look at how cute the little baby unicorn is. The Emperor. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role. Structure and discipline. Wise Counselor. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. The lovers. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. The chariot. Rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, German determination and willpower, public recognition. Justice. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. The Hermit. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. The wheel. A fresh new start or the end of delays. Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. Hmm. This one also has pictures of these cards all the way around the wheel. These are definitely unique, a kind of a different look and feel for tarot. And so far I'm liking it. Strength, personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Awakening. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. Charitable actions. Release. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Balance. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity. Self-control, patience, and balance. Ego. The illusion of being trapped. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. Transformation. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Breaking free from procrastination. Releasing old belief systems. 
And as you see the different colors here of the different elements of the deck. The star. Have faith, the future is bright. Dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. The moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. The sun. A time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. Renewal. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. The world. A brilliant success. A time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. All right, that was the Major Arcana. And I'm going to go ahead and just set those aside. And we start out with what would be the wands. And it shows the element in the upper corner there. So this would be the Ace of Wands. They have number one up here. An amazing opportunity. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. That's cute. The two of wands. Taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. The Three of Wands. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. And this says opportunity. It's pretty cool. The Four of Wands. So much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the Divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. The Five of Wands. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. The Six of Wands. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, or scholarships. The Seven of Wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. It's an interesting way of looking at that card. The Eight of Wands. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes. The ability to multitask. Business travel. The Nine of Wands. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. The Ten of Wands. Working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. The 
the Page of Wands. Wasn't this just a baby a little while back? Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient. News of exciting opportunities. Allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. The Knight of Wands. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. The Queen of Wands. Brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. And she has her classic black cat. The King of Wands, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keep your eyes on the big picture, communicate your vision, don't be sensitive to criticism. All right, those were the wands. And next we have the cups, the water signs. So this would be the Ace of Cups. It's a cute, that's just a cute picture. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home, The Two of Cups. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love. The Three of Cups. News worth celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy or graduation. A time for gratitude. Close close communities or chosen families. The Four of Cups. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Missing the point. The distractions of daily life. Discontentment or boredom. Lost in your own world. Wake up. The Five of Cups, focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason, look for the hidden blessings. The Six of Cups, children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, The return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. The Seven of Cups. Make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options. Addictions. The Eight of Cups. The need to move on, seeking more life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities or leaving home. The Nine of Cups. Wishes come true. Your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune. Faith in the universe that all will be well. The Ten of Cups, a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. 
the Page of Cups. Sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody. Messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. The Knight of Cups. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle. Falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. The Queen of Cups, loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, caring for others but forgetting to take care of yourself, trust your intuition, a deep love of family and friends, follow your heart. It says Angel Tarot right there. The King of Cups. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. A charitable benefactor. Seeing a counselor. Those were the cups. And next we have the air signs, which would be the swords. So this would be the ace of swords. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely. Remain objective. The two of swords. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy, pretending there is no problem, overanalyzing a situation. The Three of Swords. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. The Four of Swords. Insights that come from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. If you can hear my dog Atlas snoring in the background, he is getting more sleep right now. The Five of Swords, an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. The Six of Swords, the end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or Relocation. The Seven of Swords. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Does anybody know what kind of bird that is? Just curious. The Eight of Swords, the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. The Nine of Swords, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. The Ten of Swords, the end of a situation that brings relief, 
sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders, the end of an an addiction, a melodramatic reaction. The Page of Swords. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. An exciting intellectual challenge. Brilliant insights. Information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. The Knight of Swords. Decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. The Queen of Swords. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. Focusing on career. Divorced or unmarried individuals. The King of Swords. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic. Receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded. Public speaking, communicate clearly. Unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. And those were the swords. And last but not least, we have the earth signs. And this would be the pentacles. Card number one would be the ace of pentacles. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity. A lucrative contract. Significant purchases like a home or vehicle. That's a nice home, isn't it? The Two of Pentacles. Working too hard or multiple jobs. The need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities. Balancing the budget. The Three of Pentacles. Do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. The Four of Pentacles, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money, time, or emotions. Smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, being charitable. The Five of Pentacles, negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for becoming self-employed. The Six of Pentacles, The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. The Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. The Eight of Pentacles. Learning all you can about a subject or career. Going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail. Skilled work that you love. The Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying your solitude. The Ten of Pentacles. 
financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. The Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. A new area of study. The Knight of Pentacles. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. The Queen of Pentacles. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. A love of art and beauty. A sensible approach. The King of Pentacles. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded. A time of great success. Financial security and prosperity. The Midas touch. Everything turning out beautifully. A supportive parent and spouse. A good person to work for. And those were the pentacles or the earth signs. So maybe we will take a look here at the book and just look at a description for one of them. Well, here's the dreamer, which was the fool. It says, Archangel Metatron is known for watching over very sensitive people, especially children. Here he is watching over the dreamer as he steps through the doorway into his next life. Ready, set, go. This is the beginning, or perhaps a new beginning for you. The dreamer is a card of faith. It represents the moment when something new is born. The dreamer is incarnating into a new lifetime. But the card's meaning is symbolic. It might be a new life where you begin a relationship, launch a different career, or have a spiritual awakening that changes the way you see the world. The energy of this card requires that you believe in yourself, that you believe in the divine's love for you and its desire, that you find joy. It asks that you let go of anything that might hold you back from your life purpose or following your passion. If you do that, nothing can get in your way. Nothing will stop you from making your dreams come true. Additional meanings for this card. Leaps of faith, a new beginning, exciting opportunities, being your unique self, a new adventure. And I'm not seeing a reversal meaning, so possibly this deck is not meant to be read with reversals. But it does look interesting. I think I'll like working with this deck. Thank you so much for going through these cards with me. I look forward to using them in the future, and I hope you enjoyed seeing each one of these beautiful cards. Until next time.